Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Hammer Time with West Ham United. And it's Cup Final Day, hence the suit. Spurs versus West Ham in the Carabao Cup Final. I had to suit up. I, I feel so uncomfortable. I don't remember the last time I wore this shirt, but the last time I wore it, I was a lot thinner. I'll say that much because I can barely get in it. I'm like, breathe, if I breathe out, I'm probably going to rip it. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got the suit on. Um, seeing as it's Christmas, I thought I'd wear a Christmas tie. Do you know what? Let's play it. Hopefully you can hear this. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> it's going to play again. <laughs> Shut up! Thank you. Okay, I'm not going to touch that tie again, but yeah, this is so uncomfortable. It's so tight. Anyway, uh, into the in, into the game we go. Spurs versus West Ham. Carabao Cup final. And let's get it done, because I want to get out of this shirt as soon as I can. So how do we get here, you might ask? Well, let me tell you. Nottingham Forest were our third round tie, and we beat them 2-0. Richarlison and Origi scoring goals there. We then went on to take on Derby County at Pride Park, and we uh, won that four goals to two, despite going 2-0 down in a dreadful first half performance. We then defeated Crystal Palace two goals to nil at home in the quarterfinals. Buendia and Origi scoring there. That took us through to a semi-final where we took on Arsenal at, in a two-legged affair, of course. The first leg ended 1-0 to us. Buendia with a goal on 41 minutes. Uh, in the second leg, Arsenal did beat us 1-0. Uh, of course, sending it to 1-1 on aggregate. So it went to penalties and Fabianski was the star as he saved penalties from his fellow Pole Arkadius Milik and Mohamed El Nenny to send us through to the Carabao Cup final. Meanwhile, Spurs had um, a run that looks like this. They defeated Luton Town 3-2 at home in the third round. Uh, Belotti, Son and Reguillon scoring there. They beat Swansea 3-0 in Wales in the fourth round. Kane with two goals and Son with a goal. Uh, Leicester in the quarterfinals ended goalless and the penalty shootout went their way. In the semifinals, they got Norwich, um, a much more favourable tie than we got. They beat them 4-0 at home to take control of the tie. Uh, and then they got a 2-1 win at Carrow Road, Belotti and Parrot scoring the goals. So here we go, cup final time. Now, we're not favourites for this by any means. Um, this is going to be a very tough match. This is also a premiere on YouTube. So if you're watching, say hello in the chat. I'll be in there as well. Um, this will probably go out slightly earlier than my usual videos. So I imagine this will go out at 5 o'clock and not 6 o'clock. But um, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying it. If you are, drop a like and all that stuff um, and subscribe if you're new and if you haven't done so already. We do have um, a quite a long break after this, actually. We have a Monday night game against Leicester. So Fornells and Buendia are a little bit tired. Um, I think we're going to... Do we risk them? I don't know. If I start them, there's no way they're going to last the whole match. Um, I'm going to leave Fornells in because he's in good form. I'm going to replace Buendia with uh, Yarmolenko. We're going to bring Diop back in for Cardozo as well. Diop was rested in our previous game, uh, which was against Bayer Leverkusen. Um, we went through in the first knockout round of the Europa League last episode. Uh, we went through on away goals. We had a 1-1 draw. Uh, in Germany and we had a goal to draw at home so we beat them on away goals next episode uh, we may well take on nonce um, I'm not sure whether they put on camera or not but um, our uh, next round in the Europa League we're taking on nonce in France we're going to start on balanced we're going to see how it goes uh, we're going to regroup when we lose possession we're going to try and shoot on sight uh, we're going to leave this as it is. Uh, so the Spurs side with uh, Maurizio Sarri in charge. No more Mourinho at uh, Spurs. Hugo Lloris in goal. They have a back four of Matt Doherty, Davinson Sanchez, Toby Alderweireld and Sergio Reguilon. Hoiberg and Winks in midfield. And then I guess you've got Lo Celso maybe playing the number 10 with Lucas Moura and Son out wide and Kane up top. So looking like a front three with uh, Lo Celso behind Kane. That seems to be what they're going with, like a 4-2-3-1. It's a good side. We'll see if we can get something out of this and see if we can get a trophy. But we're not expected to. There's no pressure. Just go out there and enjoy it, guys. That's what I said in the team meeting as well. There's a bit of a London derby as well in this cup final. So it's going to be interesting. But let's see how we go. Okay, 27 minutes we have our first highlight. And it's the throw in in a good position. Winks with a big clearance. Here is uh, Diallo. 
and he almost runs it out of play there, but it goes back into Declan Rice, playing as that libero today. Uh, Spurs have had lots of possession early on, but this is the first actual football we're seeing on key highlights. I might bump it up to extended, actually. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see how things go, but if it's as quiet as this, and I think we'll play the second half on extended highlights. Here's Javan Anderson playing as left back today, and it's Jean Malenko as a shot that's blocked, and Lloris pulls the save off from Ben Johnson, who could have got a great goal there, the youngster. I mean, he's 21. He's not a youngster anymore, really, is he? But he's a very good player. Anderson's going to get onto this. Okay, that's the end of that highlight, but not as much possession, but we've had a couple of shots on target, and Spurs have been very quiet so far. Okay, half time. It wasn't the best first half. I know it wasn't. We're going to put the second half on extended highlights once we can, because there was one highlight in that whole 45 minutes. But first half was pretty good. You know, XG was about the same. We had a few shots on target. It didn't create a massive chance, but we were better than Spurs were because we barely saw Spurs on the ball. Let's do this for the fans. Um, Origi is looking a bit aggressive. We're just going to ask him to calm down because I don't really know why he's like that. That didn't work. We were okay. We just need to try and be a bit more creative than them. Okay, we're going to start the second half. I'm going to bump it up to extended highlights, see if we get some more highlights. And let's see how the second half goes. We're going to keep encouraging them. Spurs have a throw in here, and it's uh, cleared by Issa Diop. Out of Vyrold to Huibjerg. Huibjerg finds Matt Doherty in space out wide. And Doherty with a cross, and Fabianski collects it nice and uh, calmly. Rolls it short. Rice to Diallo and Diop. Passing it around that back three at the moment. We need to get a bit more forward progress here, guys. We're passing it around the back too much. Here's Thomas Suchek to Anderson. Here's Origi. Oh, and he's lost out to Mora. That wasn't a great place to give the ball away. And a long ball. Oh, who missed the header there? I don't know. That's going to be a penalty. Oh, I think um, oh, Ben Johnson missed the header and then Diop had to step in. And unfortunately, he's given away a penalty here. Unless the referee turns it down, which I don't think he's going to. It is a penalty for Spurs. 52 minutes. We're going to go attacking because this is probably going to go in. And I'm assuming it's going to be Kane that's going to take it. It is Harry Kane stepping up with the penalty. And it's in. That's a great penalty. And Spurs take a 1-0 lead in the 54th minute. Um, Diop gives away the penalty, but... Yeah, Ben Johnson didn't do too well there. And the second half, we haven't really got going yet. Spurs take the lead from the penalty spot. Fabianski went the right way, but could not save it. All right, we are going to make some changes because Origi has not done well out there and he's still not doing too good sort of mentally. He's still um, aggressive, I think he was. He's motivated now, but Richarlison's going to come on for him. Let's try and work the ball into the box. Um, try and go slightly shorter, but not too short. We're going to try and counter as much as we can. We're on attacking. Come on. We're an hour into the game. Let's get back into this. Throw in for us. 67th minute of the match. Richarlison to Suchek. Anderson. Cuts into the middle. He's got players to choose from. Got lots of space on the right-hand side. Use it. Come on. Four nows. Johnson. This could be a good chance here. Come on, Ben Johnson. Put it in there. For someone. Four nows. Johnson. Richarlison has a shot that's blocked. Anderson! Oh, just off. But that was a good chance there. We could have got a goal from that. We're going very attacking. We need a goal. Four now is going to have to come off. We're going to put Zinchenko in midfield. I'm not sure what he's like there. But we're going to have him in midfield. And there's not really much more we can do here. We've gone very attacking. We've got 10 minutes left. And at the moment, we really need a goal. Doesn't look like we're going to get one. We're on 86 minutes. Uh, let's take off Rice... And we're going to put Carlos Fernandez on up top. I mean, how often do we get these late goals? Not often at all. Oh, we might have a free kick in a good position here in the 90th minute. What a time it would be to score. We didn't even get that many highlights on extended. I'm not too pleased about that. Here we go. 92nd minute of the game. It is Spurs with possession, though. And, wow. <laughs> I thought that was going to be another foul then. But we've got two minutes to score a goal here. It hasn't been the most entertaining of finals. But... <laughs> I thought, why did Fernandez head it forward there? That could have been amazing, but there's still two minutes left. There is still a little bit of time left, but we're going to need to beat, do something ridiculous to get something back here. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Anderson with a header forward to Alaire. Have we got one more change we can make? No, we don't. We've made all three. Alaire. Zinchenko. Oh my God, Zinchenko! What a goal! 
It's 1-1 in the 93rd minute. I'm sorry if I just blew out your headphones. Um, I am I'm sorry, but Zinchenko has just fired in a rocket in the 93rd minute of the Carabao Cup final. Alert with the pass. Zinchenko hits it perfectly. And it's 1-1. And that can send us through to extra time. Although we have a highlight from kickoff. Don't do this to me. Come on. Let's try and get it to extra time. If there is extra time, it might go straight to penalties, but I'm not quite sure. Matt Doherty running down the right flank. Great block. It's a corner for Spurs in the last minute. We're on extended highlights, so hopefully this doesn't amount to anything, but it's a highlight from kickoff pretty much. Lo Celso on the corner kick. There are 20 seconds left in this cup final. It's headed away. Here's Son. Yarmolenko goes for the tackle and wins it. Suchek with a big clearance. Hopefully that's enough to get us through. Are we on penalties or extra time? There is still one more chance, maybe. We're in like the additional stoppage time. Suchek with the interception. Here's Yarmolenko. Just get it away. Anywhere. Okay, end of 90 minutes. All right, I think it's extra time. I think we're in extra time. We've had seven shots on target to Spurs' is two, one of which was their penalty. We are going to say win the trophy for the fans. Declan Rice is furious. I guess that's because he's come off, maybe. Who do we bring off? We've got one more change we can make. Johnson and Anderson are both very tired. Let's bring them both back. Um, we're going to take off Ale and we're going to bring on Mark Noble and just have him like here just as a DLP. We're going to go back to how we were. Uh, although we, we, we got the goal playing high. So let's push the lines high. Let's do it. Turn off, get stuck in. Right, that's fine. We're going to leave it at that. Extra time. Here we go. We've got another 30 minutes of football here. Can we at least get to penalties? Or, it, or get a goal would be amazing. If we can lead, that would be lovely. But we just need to make sure that we don't fall behind. But doherty has been a big problem on that right-hand side. So we need to try and maybe force the opposition inside and stop them from getting crosses away. And also go into opposition instructions and deal with him as much as we can. So we're gonna we're gonna go in hard on him. We're gonna press him. We're gonna try and get him on his weaker foot. We need to try and sort out Doherty because he has been a real problem on this right hand side. Header away by Thomas Suchek. Yarmolenko will keep this in. Oh, oh, and he's lost out to Kane though, and the Diop with a big clearance. Right again, we're gonna encourage the players. Suchek trying to win the ball here, but he can't. Kane gets the cross away. Belotti with a shot. Great block by Diallo. Free kick. Zinchenko. This could be big. Belotti heads it away. Soma Suchek. Zinchenko. Can he set something up here, maybe? It's headed, cleared away by Sanchez. Diop heads it down. Nicely controlled. Didn't give it away to Belotti. Good work. Zinchenko. To Yarmolenko. He's got Ben Johnson in support. Zinchenko. Oh, he almost did it again. But it's a good save by Hugo Lloris. Richarlison still with it. And uh, we get a goal kick. Well, it's a goal kick. God, Zinchenko almost did it again. Bergwijn. Oh, he sent through Bellotti. And that's a great save by Fabianski. Absolutely stunning stop. Yarmolenko. Can we counter from this now? Carlos Fernandez. He's up top by himself now. We've removed Ale because he was getting very, very tired. Noble to Zinchenko. That's a great ball for Richarlison. But he was at too tight an angle. We've got a corner from it, though. We have started this extra time period well. Highlight deep into the first period of extra time here. Sissoko. Kane. Oh, another amazing save by Fabianski. Keeping us in this cup final. We've got through 15 minutes. We've got another 15. Could go to penalties. Although I feel like we've had some chances to score. I don't know how our XG is still under one. Spurs apparently should have had another goal by now. But... I don't know how our XG isn't at one yet. Eight shots on target. Fabianski is just being an absolute monster in goal. I've got no more changes I can make. My defence is absolutely knackered. We're going to go into the second period and just hope that we can at least get it to penalties. And you know what? We beat Arsenal on penalties. Let's see if we can beat Tottenham as well. But if we get a goal, that would be superb. Yarmolenko coming forward here. 115th minute of the match. Hoybjerg to Ben Davies. Oh, no one's closing him down. That's not good. Hoiberg on the edge of the box. Harry Kane. Hoiberg with it back. Get rid of it, please. Get rid of it. What are you doing? Okay, Richarlison's got it. We've got it back. Right, come on. 
Ball to... Oh, Fernandez should have kept running there. Oh! Sissoko has um, brought a foul out here. It's a yellow card for Musa Sissoko. God, why did Fernandez stop running? Oh, Hoy... Oh, no. Hoybjerg has just scored for Spurs. It's 2-1. Right, we're going to go back to very attacking then. Hoybjerg has just given Spurs the lead with four minutes left of extra time. It was uh, Matt Doherty with a throw. Bergwijn... So, Hoybjerg, who was completely unmarked, had so much sight of goal. That was a problem. That was a shame. Come on, guys. And you know Spurs are going to try and defend this now, but can we get a late goal again? Yarmolenko. Oh, he, he's through. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sanchez got in the way again. Oh, I think we've got one more chance here. We're past stoppage time. We're going to have to do it now, but I feel like that's time up. Hoybjerg. Bergwijn, he's just just hold on to it now. That's all you've got to do. And that's full time. And it's a painful, painful goal that Spurs score in extra time. And Spurs win the Carabao Cup. But do you know what? We lasted, oh, was it 116 minutes? We went behind Zinchenko with an absolute rocket to equalise for us. Uh, but then Hoiberg in extra time wins it for Tottenham. As they win the Carabao Cup, but West Ham, I mean, runners-up is pretty darn good. But yeah, I feel like, you know, we had so many shots. We had more shots on target than them, I think. I feel a little bit hard done by. I don't know, like, okay, the XG, I think Spurs were better. But if we'd have just been a bit better with that chance creation, we may have got something. Laurie's with a cartwheel there. Three clear-cut chances for West Ham. So I don't know why our XG is still at 1.22, but three clear-cut chances, just one goal. Another day that could have been a win for us, but it was not to be. It's been a long time since West Ham have won a trophy. And unless we now win the Europa League, we're not going to get one in this series, unfortunately. But to get to a final... That's pretty darn good. I think that's... Is that West Ham's last final since 2006? The FA Cup final? I don't think they've had one since then. So to get a first final in... What's this? 2022. 16 years. That's pretty good going. Okay, so uh, let's look at what we have coming up then. Now, we do have the second knockout round of the Europa League. We're taking on Nantes. And I'm not sure whether they're bringing that to you on camera or not. Um, because... They're 18th in league on. They're in the relegation zone now. We're in the relegation playoff anyway. So I feel like that's a that's a tie that we should be winning. So I might skip that one and we'll move on. Um, we may do Man City, who are in ninth place. They're really not doing well. And uh, Bielsa's now been sacked. They've got Luis Enrique in charge. But we could do Man City. Uh, if we get through Nantes, of course, we'll have a quarterfinal. I'm not sure when that will be. We may bring you that on camera. I'm not quite sure. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and see um, how things go. If we get through the Nantes game, we'll definitely do the quarterfinals on camera. Looking at the teams left, we got a pretty good draw, a favourable draw, but we've still got big teams in here. Both Manchester clubs in here now. Uh, AC Milan, Lyon, uh, Benfica, Atletico Madrid. There's some big teams in the Europa League this season still left. So, um, yeah, we'll see if we can get through the Nantes game. And then we'll definitely have the court final on camera, but I'm not sure when that will be. Maybe next episode, maybe later. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. Um, if you're in Premiere, hopefully you've liked it already. Um, and thank you for hanging out today. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, drop a like. Leave comments if you haven't done so already. Or if you're new, do subscribe and turn on notifications. Uh, and this is going on Christmas Eve. So if you're watching this before Christmas, have a very Merry Christmas. Um, I know it's not going to be the best Christmas ever due to, you know pandemic but make the most of who you have with you and you know just think of next year because next year hopefully you will be able to see your loved ones much more regularly and just make the most of what you've got so i'll leave you by saying merry christmas thank you for watching and i'll see you soon goodbye